What's going on, people? It's Mr. Back again with a review show. I hope everyone's fit and well. And yes, we lost. We lost at last. Um, it, it's been coming, but oh, it is what it is. Um, Forest Luton won Forest nil. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Um, if you are new to the channel, please do hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and comment below, people. How do you feel about Forest's performance today? If you want to ask any questions to the panel. Uh, please come comment below and that, as I said I went to the game today uh, the vlog will be out straight after the review show so people watch out for the vlog it'll be out right got the panel in there's only three of us in today we've got myself we've got Steve Oldham how you doing Steve? I'm alright mate how are you? <sighs> yeah it's one of them days it's been, it's been one of the days it's been one of the days uh, next we've got Lee the megaphone man how you doing Lee? You know, I'm all right. A bit of a cold. Hopefully, gone by. Well, will be gone by Monday. There's no, there's no argument in that. It's gone by Monday. Um, bit disappointed because, you know, today's not actually a bad day for us. It's actually worked out all right, despite the result. Um, I'd have been a bit happier if we'd have got the point that I think we deserved. But in general, it's one of them. You got to take it on the chin, haven't you? We, we we never got going today, really. Not till second half and. Didn't create a great deal, I don't think, in terms of shots on target. So, 100%. I've got a little bone to pick, though, door before we start. Just before we start, <laughs> before I watched the on, last Saturday, and uh, obviously, Matt brings up Chris Hutton. Can we please ban Chris Hutton from this show? The guy's in the abyss somewhere in Ghana, and all Matt's doing is regurgitating about Chris Hutton, spouting rubbish, adding a quote in, adding a cliche. Let's ban Chris Hutton because Matt's becoming the white Chris Hutton. And we don't need that negativity. Let's talk about uh, Cooper and Forrest and let's move forward. Hutton's gone. Banned. He's done. Get rid. Just saying. Matt, you heard. Stop talking about Chris Hutton. That's good. We don't need that negativity. <laughs> Positive vibes. Positive vibes. Well, right, people, let's say if you want to get questions to ask me, um, I'll talk about force as well. Please do put in the comments below. Please, as well, hit the like button as well. Um, support the channel. And if you want to do any donations towards the channel, please do. Right, where should we start? I'm going to ask you, Steve. Um, today's performance, uh, talk to me. How are you feeling about it? Well, I, I didn't. I, I didn't think we were going to lose today, to be quite honest. Yeah, but we did well to keep the score down to say we were playing against thirteen men. Um, you know, um, but I think what Lee says, we never really got going. We certainly didn't get going in the first half. Um, just a little bit worried that they out muscled us a little bit, and they're a bit more physical and. I, after the game, I just thought it's another top six team we haven't beat when they're in the top six. You know, we've only mm. beat one now, I think. Is it Blackburn we only beat when they're uh, in the top Blackburn. six? Yeah, Blackburn. 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 We haven't beat any of the others when they're in the top six. So, um, but look, you know, if you look at all the stats, we lose a game, then we'll go on another run. Um, let's just hope on Monday we, we start another run. I'd rather lose one now. And then you know, go, you know, go, go on front, another run. Go on another run. Um, we're better than what we were today. Um, you know, you, you can't, you can't go against decisions that have gone against us. I mean, they're they're, they're not even stupid decisions. They're just abysmal decisions that someone at the highest level has got to say and got to get hold of this. And it's not the first time that we've seen this ref. We saw this ref at Fulham and he was an absolute nightmare. Someone has got to get hold of these and say, this guy's not standard. Steve, you know? the problem is no one seems to be accountable. No refs, no linesmen. Managers like Steve Cooper are dying to say what they really think, but they get penalised and fined for it. I think mm. they should be allowed to voice their opinion, especially if it's something like what happened today. Because yeah. it, we've had it all season and... That point could cost us even a, a place in the playoffs, never mind automatic. You mm. never know what's going to happen these next few games. I think we'll finish playoffs. Uh, you mm. know, I'm pretty confident of that. But it, it's things like today that can cost you your season. All that hard work mm. for nothing. And all you the fans have paid money to see that. Fans have paid the money to be robbed like that. It's disgusting. Mm. The EFL are a joke and they need to get their act together because that's shocking. 
Mm. Even even Prutz and um, Glenn yeah. Murray said he, he should not have been nowhere near that game today. He, he just wasn't. It went to the side. I think there was so was a twelve bookings and a and a and a red card between the two teams. Twelve bookings or something and a red card. Eleven or twelve. I'm not sure. He was but, scared to control that game, Steve, which is why yeah. Luton got away with so much. Once their fans got up, you know you was there. But from what mm. I could see on the telly, he was scared every time them fans got up. It gave him everything. He was scared to mm. give us anything. Yeah, mm. I, th I think I think the thing was he, he should not have been. And it's, this is not the first time. It's not just I'm not just talking about Stephen mm. Cooper at the Fulham game. There's been other incidents where I think even. Chris Wilder said when he ref one of his games, Chris Wilder said this guy should be nowhere near a championship rep uh, fixture, and they keep bonging him in, and they've, they've given him at what was it? Was it fourth versus fifth? Fourth versus yeah. fifth yeah. game. So who's making these decisions? You know, and but I will say I just want to clarify something with the people who are listening. All right, yep. we should be better than going on about referees. We should have been better today. Yeah, hundred percent. We had yeah. a perfect hold disallowed. I accept that, but we're a better team than that. And I think putting the, the decisions to one side, let's be proper here. If I'm sitting there now, and I agree with you, Lee, I think we're going to make the playoffs. I, I do think yeah. we'll make the playoffs because I believe in the manager. I think that I, I think that we, this is the best manager we've had yeah. since Frank Clark. Okay, mm. and I, I think that I think is agreed. Better than Billy Davis, you know, whatever and all that. But I think this manager will get the players together. He will say, "Look, we're better. We're better than that." The players will regroup. I know it's a short turnaround in Monday. Let's go on another run. All right. My only concern is what I said earlier: two things, out muscled, and it's another top six team that we haven't won, and we're going to have to beat them if we're going to go up by the playoffs. So yeah. psychologically, we need to get that. In our heads, but Steve, the thing is, like you say, we can't rely on these decisions. We've got to do it ourselves. No. If you look, if yeah. you look today, yeah, we had shots and we made some chances. Three shots on target isn't enough to win a game. No. Not when you're battling for promotion. It's not. Um, no. And that's nothing against Cooper. I love the guy. I think he's amazing. I just, I just think today the team were flat. I expected mm. Newton to come out and then us to sort of phase them out, but it never really yeah. happened. Not till second half. Like you're saying, they bullied us. Do you think that? Like, and I'm, I'm, I, I want to give some credit to Luton. Like, before I said, we, dirty we, though, we, though, weren't they? No, no, that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I said, I was saying to Malcolm and Des, who was at the game today, and Nathan Jones, uh, at the start, I liked him as a manager, but he reminds me of, I don't know if you remember. Do you remember that Huddersfield game that we lost 2 1? It was under Lamucci. Who was, was it? The Carly Brothers. He yeah. reminds me of the Carly Brothers. They, play, they don't play football, they play dirty football. That football today, though, was Neil Warnock. No, it was worse that than was Neil Warnock. Of Warnock. It was worse than Warnock. It was, it was worse than Warnock. It was worse than Lee. Lee. It was, it was battering worse. teams. That's what Warnock does. Let me tell you something what I saw. Cole back at left back. What did they do every time? Ping the ball up to where he was. They yeah, attacked but... Cole back because he's not a left back. Yeah, but Lee, little, yeah, but Lee, remember if you if you Warnock. remember what what happened what happened, when we played him at the sit ground, what happened? The target Cole back yeah. and he got sent off, didn't he? Yeah, 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 he did, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. He got sent off. And me, me personally I rated him as a manager, but now after seeing that, the way he goes on, like he's got a personality. Everyone's got every manager as a as a personality. But the way he goes on, I didn't like. I didn't enjoy the football. But at the end of the day, they got the three points. And 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 I'm, 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 I'm on the same point. I'm, I, I, I don't want to criticize Forest players because I'm saying no. We from we just remember Forest fans. We was at the bottom of the league when Steve would come. Every game is going to be different. This team we played today are not a footballing side. But they're in the playoffs, and you got you got to give juice to Luton Town. For doing what's in, but it's just would I would I want him in the playoffs? Maybe because I want to get revenge on him. Because I do. It, 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 Luton, 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 they got the penalty. We'll talk about the penalty later on. And um, but yeah, it just it was just it's, it's a weird match. Um, right, I'm actually like we talk about the penalty and there's different angles. Everyone's talking about it. And Lee, as we, people in the comments, what do you think? Do you think it was a penalty? 
Yes or no? Before I get to Liam, I'm just going to get through the comments before I get to you, Lee. Uh, yeah. where we say, uh, the true yeah. rest said we were robbed today. Uh, uh, def- uh, Paul said definitely robbed. Uh, uh, evening, Dawn Talk. Evening, everyone. Shout out to James. How you doing, James? Um, uh, Chris, so many people on Facebook saying loose grabbing should not be starting. What do you guys think of how Cooper changed the team today? We'll talk about that later on. There's so much we could talk about today about yeah. grabbing, playing that role. And it's, like I said, it, it, this is what it is. It's, it's good to have this debate. So thank you very much, first Chris, for, uh, for that. Um, true, I think we've got true rare. A very supportive result, but still a chance of a second. Bournemouth away is a must win against Fulham. I take a point, but against Fulham is a minus, massive bonus as well. Uh, this one, Chapel. First off, it was like Cardiff for game. At least we have them turn up in playoffs. Bye bye, second lot. Listen, we still got. We still Derby's got winning 2 1. Sorry. What? Derby's winning 2 1. Oh, don't lie. That's just for <laughs> my day. Oh, great. So I, 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 I said to everyone in the week, Derby would get some out of that game. Like, it's on the day, doesn't it? Does that mean? Does that mean we we, we go? We, we, we can still be champions. <laughs> that, that means that the, the Wang Rooney statue will be going up soon. Oh, great! Here we go. It's let's back to the, let, let's back to the end, people. Right, uh, <laughs> um, right. So I'm going to ask you, Lee. Like we're talking, about, we're talking about a penalty, and like I said, everyone's talking about um, was it a penalty? Was it not, Lee? Do you think it was a penalty? I, I can't give you a full answer because for me, was it the positioning of Colback's arm? Should it have been further behind his back? Would a left back put his arm behind his back a bit more? Was Colback's arm out? Their player handballed it also, but I can't remember off the top of my head whether that was after it hit Colback or before, whether he knocked it onto Colback's arm with his hand. Um, I think it's one of them you've got to take on the chin. We don't seem to get those decisions. We get them against us a lot, but not for us. I, I take it on the chin. It is, but we should have responded. And, you know, it's as simple as that, really. Mm. Uh, people have seen comments. What do you think? Do you think, do you think it was a pen? Uh, looking back on it. Two of them today, though, just to say, I watched the yeah. Bournemouth game. They, yeah. a couple of their hand in the box, very similar. No penalty. So mm. you can make your uh, own mind. Yeah, people, people, what do you think? Do you think it's penalty? My opinion about it, watching it like I was there today, it was a harsh penalty, but it did get Colback's hand first. It got mm-hmm. Colback's hand first, and then it got the player, the other players' mm-hmm. hand. So it was a penalty, and it is what it is. And um, I think that I can't, I, I, I can't remember. And um, people, can you remember Samba having a safe, have any safe, to, any decent save to make? From that, I don't, I don't know if, if I can. Steve, can you remember Samba making any decent saves? I can't. I can't remember. I can't, I can't, oh yeah, I can't one remember. at the start of the game where that lad ran through and he hit it with his foot for a corner. Saved oh yeah, goal. yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He did first off. Yeah. Um, yeah. Steve, that's it. We, 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 let's talk about lineup. And I was surprised. And Lewis grabbing, uh, grabbing Davis and Johnson playing. Was was you surprised grabbing starting? Well, I, look, how many have you won? Five on the bounce. I thought yeah. he'd have gone with the same, same team. Um, but look, the manager is a very tactful manager on his opposition. He, he, you know, he's obviously looked at his opposition. I think he knew that maybe, just maybe, Luton were going to be a little bit more physical. I mean, let's be let's be honest here, Ben. All right, no disrespect. If Luton would have tried to play us at football, all right, okay, would have beat them. And I know, I know you turned around and said you want Luton in the playoffs. I want him in the yeah. final. I say why I want him in the final, because it's on a bigger pitch. All right, they won't be able to play that physicality of what they did today on their own little tin pot ground. You know, yeah. Dean can. All right, and it'll be a bigger pitch, and Forest will have the space. I think he, I think he, he realised that Luton were going to be a bit more physical. And he wants a little bit more. Um, he knows his players better than us, all right? Yeah. I mean, he knows his players better than us. Was it? Yeah, it was a strange one, but hey, you know, he, he, he made that decision. And, you know, no disrespect, Stevie Cooper's bulletproof at the minute. And if it had come off, 
great, but I don't think Graven deserves this. Well, he shouldn't have played. He shouldn't have been this. I know. I, I saw. I saw it on Twitter. There's, no, I don't think it's that. You know. I, I saw it on Twitter, and I, I, again, and it was. I'm not saying it was all Forest fans, and people criticizing Graven. Why did he start? This and that, and over. And like I said, sometimes Cooper gets it right. Sometimes you get it wrong. That's what you got a squad for. He's always good football, but I, I personally think if, if you when you win teams against Blackpool, yeah. Coventry, and um, is it Birmingham, I think you should keep the same tie, side. And that's that's my opinion. People in the comments, what do you think? Do you think you should have kept the same winning side? And can be grabbed on last uh, last thirty minutes as, as well as storage. That's um, why I'm grabbing this uh, a last sort of twenty five minutes. Throw him on. Yeah. You need to go just because of his mm. age, mm. personally. Uh, right, there's 81 people in. Uh, thank you very much. If you can, please hit the like button as well. It, it will ha- help me a massive lot as well, please. Um, right, I'm going to ask you, Lee. And like I said, the team, I said, um, I'm going to mention, let me mention Brennan Johnson. Like, I, I, think, I think he had a quiet game today. Not, not, I wouldn't say not just him. I think Garner was quiet. Um, the players that have been on form have been, had a quiet game. Do you, do you think we, we, we was in, at our best today? No way. We were quite, like I say, first half, we got bullied a bit. We were quite flat. I think, to be honest, I, I hate to say it, but I thought we were quite toothless today. And this ain't a mm. dig at any of the players because they've been fantastic. I just think maybe they were, you could say it's an excuse, they was a bit tired. I, I'm not sure what it was. It just seemed a bit flat and a bit toothless up front. Like Davis, mm. obviously, gave his all. John, o, not necessarily his fault. He, he didn't get a lot of the ball. A bit more in the second half. Spence had a lot more, didn't he? But yeah, yeah. They just there was a, a bit of a lack of creativity in front of goal. You know what I mean? We made the odd chance, but when you're like say you're having three shots on target, you can't expect to win games. Not for promotion. We didn't give as much, we didn't give as much space today no, either. No, that's no that's space. what I mean. You can't you can't if you don't if Forest don't get space, if if you give Forest space, they're gonna rip you apart. They played rip the high you. press, didn't they? There's high pressing. Yeah. Wouldn't give you us know. a moment on the ball every time we, you know, we moved in space. Second half we had a bit more space, didn't we? But again, mm, it was yeah. that final ball. It just, it just wasn't happening today, was it? For what, other than the Spence goal that should have stood, like that's what, and, that, and that's what we're going to talk about later on as well. And, and there's a massive debate about it as well on social media. It's I see a VAR come in though, Dore. Yeah, and again, it's it's a massive debate, and, and it gets Stephen as this one and. Right, before I get Stephen, I'll say my opinion about it. And I, I, I understand, I get it, why I was offside. I think it was a through ball. But what they was trying to say, the through ball, the defender touched it, and then Spence ran on towards it. So I think it was the pass that Yates gave was must must have been offside. But well, Steve, do you think it was offside? People in the comments, what do you think? Do you think it was offside? Steve, what do you think, Steve? Do you think it was um, well, According offside? to the rules, it weren't offside. So yeah. It, yeah. It, it wasn't it wasn't at, uh, offside because he wasn't active. These are the rules. He wasn't active, and when it touched the player, then he was active, which he was. Uh, he, he can't be offside, and that's the rules. And if you listen to what they said on Sky, they mm. all said Crut and Levin, the linesman and the officials on this one have got this totally wrong and have robbed Rock Forest. They did know the rules, and you he can didn't just to touch it though, did he? He attempted to play it back, didn't they? It weren't yeah. even. A- a little deflection touch. He tried to block it and sort of play it back to his goalie at the same time. He, he, he didn't know the rules. Um, Spence was not active until that came off that player and he was onside. And he's, they, they, the, official, the officials, and I think I think it was Prutz who said it, he said the officials just didn't know the rules and they just got it completely wrong. Absolutely, completely wrong. And you could see the deflection. It wasn't a little one. It had gone, it, 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 went there and it wasn't there. It's quite clear. Um, yeah. Quite clear. And as I said, I think it was like from, from my angle and people of the vlog is out straight after the review show. So people, it's out, but it'd be about 11 o'clock, but it would be before 11 o'clock after the show's done. But like I said, people, um, for our, from our view, it was definitely offside. And to Luton fans out there, the, the linesman was shocking. Absolutely shocking, especially the referee. But the, the, the linesman was awful. Spence, got sparged a few times. I know one of the Luton defenders got um, sent off as well, but it wasn't that. The, 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 why do we get poor officials every single time we play? It's every, every game. 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 Every game.
It's every same, game. Same. And it, this called cost us. I'm not saying we deserve to win today. I don't think that. No, don't get me wrong. Like Luton, like I said, the way they play football, that's how they play. They got three points. I'm more well done to him. But today, I think the officials. I seen a comment. The referee was bad for both clubs, both sides. He really wasn't. No. Where, 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 look, is there, look, any Luton fans on here? Tell me where was the bad officials from your side of you? I don't. I, I don't see. I, I don't see any what, of them. Was Luton where? Because that says enough. That's what they're going to say. Can I just say something, Ben? <laughs> yeah. All these, all these officials. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this has happened because I've seen it. I've seen it once at Forest. All these officials that officiate in the championship, and someone, if someone can correct me, please. Um, this is not my word for it. There is what they call an assessor in the stands that watches the officials. Mm, now right. we go on about we go on about these officials. What are these assessors looking at? Who's assessing them? Thinking, oh yeah, he had a good game. Let's give him another one. So that that's that's the thing that's got me. Who is assessing these and saying, well, yeah, we had a good game, that guy did. Or surely someone's got to be going back to these and going, these ain't up to it, you know, guys. These ain't up, up to it. You know what we're going to do here? You know, and, and I'm pretty sure that's what happens. I'm pretty sure there is an assessor in the stand on every one of these officials that ref a championship game. I don't know about League One, but I'm sure it's championship. I know there is in Premier League. Yeah. But someone said to me, Premier League and championship. Every official has an assessor. If, if you listen to Cooper's interview, you know he's dying to say something. Because I want to. I know. I, I know. I see it. Well, this is what my point is. Why are they being? You know, why aren't they allowed to voice their opinion? They should be allowed. It's affecting their job. At the end of the day, it's affecting the club. It's affecting the fans. It's affecting their job. Why is it we're not allowed to criticise them openly? If, if well, they have a bad game. You should be allowed to say it. I bet Cooper's dad's in his ear as well, because isn't his dad, oh. a, isn't his dad a ref? And I bet his his dad's in his ear saying, "Don't say anything, son, or you're going to get absolutely clobbered." No, no, you know he wants to though, but I think that needs to change. I think managers should be able to say how they feel because the assessors clearly, like you say, aren't seeing anything, so that they need to be told through other methods. You know, this ain't right because mm. the EFL do absolutely nothing. I'll never forget yep. something. I don't know whether any of you can remember this. Ian Wright, it was a Premier League game. He came on, some, they interviewed him after a game, and I don't know who it was. I can't remember the ref. I, I, sorry, I can't remember the ref, but it was a Premier League game. And he came on the interview and he said, it was obviously a few years ago, you can call President Bush a liar, you can call Tony Blair a liar, but you can't call a ref anything or you're yeah, going to get the book thrown at you. And he, he was spot on. He was absolutely not, not spot wrong, on. Is it? You can't say anything about a ref. You they know, can't be accountable at the end of the day, and they're not. We don't mm. see any change. So, mm. um, before let's like, say we and I want to give a massive shout out to our uh, Saints lads before we um, started. I, I met um, Steve Cooper's brother and Steve Cooper's son today, and it was mad. And people need to watch the vlog after this because. If you see my reaction from the for what I've seen today, you'll be like mad. So shout out to Steve Cooper's brother and son as well for watching these as well because it, like I said, it's it's, it's 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 my if you watch like I said watch the vlog afterwards. It, my facial expression was mad, <laughs> and I and Malcolm and um, Gary as well. Shout out to Malcolm and Gary. Their facial expression was was crazy as well. So people after this go and watch it because it might. It was crazy. It was crazy. And I've just seen Derby have won 2 1 against Fulham. That's been confirmed as well. So maybe people are away. We're gonna have we're gonna have a uh, relegation party. So people it's gonna be a party next week at people are away. Uh right. Let, we're talking <laughs> about um, <laughs> what's funny, Steve? Peterborough away is a relegation party. It'll be before then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be on oh, Monday. Right. He hasn't oh, won a game. Right. He matches away from home. Oh, dude. Well, right. So we, we talk about and there's a couple of injuries that I had and McKenna. We we'll start with McKenna and we we'll start with you, Steve. Um, McKenna um went out off. I think it was a hamstring injury. And um, do you think that it would be a major loss if he's out injured? 
Yes, um, because he's my player of the season. I think he's been brilliant. I've always said um, he's going to be a loss. Um, don't know how far Cook is back. He's, uh, I think he said he was six weeks away, and that was nearly five weeks ago, weren't it? Was it? Is it? Near, he must be nearly there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he will be a loss. He, he will be a loss. Um, no one. They haven't said how long though, have they? How bad it is. Was it an actual hamstring injury or was yeah, it a pull? Yeah, it, it was a hamstring injury, yeah. Mm. I'm hoping he's just like tweaked it a little or it's just pulling and that's all, hopefully. You won't be playing Monday and I'm um, sorry, you're not going to recover from an hamstring in 48 hours. So, so, so are you going to play Panzer or Embe, sir? I, I, pers I personally think we should play four, four, play four at the back. I think we keep, we keep the players... I don't like um, it, but I don't like four. But I prefer the, the three, five. Ah, no, I don't know. I don't know. People come comments. What would you? What, what would you think? Would you bring Panzer in, in the, in the back three or the back four? So people come. What What do you think? Uh, before you I get Steve, you, you say you bring Panzo in. What gives you the the, the idea that Panzo is going to go into it? If you you know, he's a, he's a left sided defender, isn't he? Yeah, but he's, he's we know what he's not really been on the. He's not been any of the squads, has he? Exactly. It's the thing is though, it's the same with Larea. Why buy him if if they're not gonna come in when you right right, right Lee Lee right right Lee right and this is right, let, me, let me respond to that right. Who 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 would you bring Larry in, in for? Colback. And that's no disrespect to Colback because he's been brilliant. But why would you he's... why would you replace Colback? He's been fantastic Cause... left back for us. He's not a natural left back. Larea can he, play he, naturally at left back. Yeah, but he's been fantastic for us. Why would you do that if he's been fantastic with left back? Because because he's starting to get found out at left back. He's starting to struggle. No, after it's not one game. After no, one no, game. No, 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 no. After I one game. In the middle, no door. It's time we have a left back at left back. We've got four That's games to go, Lee. We've got we've got four. Is it four? How many games got left? Is it, six, how many got left? Six, five games. Six, five six. games to go. Why would you want to change all that? Slowly, I, like I understand, if if we win in like three or four nil, then bring them on for the next ten minutes to get the atmosphere, get used to playing in the first shirt. Next man up, though. Next man up. Well, I don't know. People, right? Any comments? What would you do? Would you bring Larea in left back? Me personally, I'll put him as a right back as a back of suspense. Callback has been. I I, I want callback in that midfield. I agree with Lee that bit. I want callback yeah. where he belongs. But why would you change everything? Like bring Panzer in to replace the Keno. Everything is it? That's one yeah. position. Yeah, but you just a guy who can naturally get up and down like a wing back, the same as Spence, and can mm. play on the left side. Mm. He plays for Canada. Canada. I mean, I just... He plays on the left for Canada. Okay. Call, call back. He, don't well, get me wrong. He's played well. Lee. He had a bit of a mere today. Don't get me wrong. He had a bit of a mere. Lee. Yeah. But even yeah. if you bring Leia. At left back, it still doesn't solve the problem that you, if you want to play your three centre backs, yeah, yeah, who do you play in that centre back role on Monday? If you want well, to play three centre backs, if you're playing the three, you, you've either got to play Mbeso or Panzo because who else is there? Mbeso, Mbeso's, Mbeso's, right, Mbeso's in front of Panzo, fitness wise. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. You, you've seen him in the under 23s, you said he's a good player. Panzo, no, I've watched Panzo in 23s, I yeah, went with Matt and and he, I, 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 I think he's, he's a backup to McKenna. Well, there you go then. But, but I'm what I'm saying. What I'm saying, Panzo is not being thrown into the first team yet. He's not been on the bench. Why would you want to put Panzo? He just wouldn't do it. He's not going to do it. He's not going to do well, it. He's going to have to play four, like you say, then, isn't it? But if he but doesn't, it's work. He's but it's going work. To have to. He's have to. But it's it's it's, 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 it's good discussion, discussion, people. If you. What, do you agree with Lee? Do you do you think Panzo? I'm not, I'm not saying I'm right. No, I'm no, just, no, 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 no. I see that with the next man up, we need no, no. fresh legs. I get what you mean. Available. No, I get what you mean. If, if people, if people agree with Lee or disagree with Lee, put in the comments below so we can we'll answer your questions. Because like I said, it's Lee's opinion. Don't shoot the message off. Right, I'm I'm just going for the messages and there's there's a derby fan on here and what, I don't know why we put this. Hey, hey, what a terrible day for you, Reds. Not uh, not only have you lost to Luton, but the Rams have just beaten top of the team of Fulham. We will need as our leader. It won't last long, mate. You enjoy today. Enjoy you it. Do, you, you enjoy today. It. 
it is what it is, Derby fans. Like I said, we'll enjoy today. Monday, next, so. ne next week, we'll be celebrating the, the, uh, the Abbey on with JD. I'll be getting drunk when Derby are down to League yeah. One. And you've got this clant owner that think he's big bollocks, but he's he's not. Sorry for my, I'm sorry for my, I'm gonna get my little girl next yeah, Saturday to do a Derby relegation song on your show. And, it, and my, my vlog for the Derby relegation is incoming. So Derby fans, you can you can you can celebrate for tonight, but when it comes to Monday or next week, I'm celebrating you lot going down. So have a little have a nice day today, Derby fans. <laughs> I'll we'll get Harry to start the chant. <laughs> we'll nothing else, though. Let them have it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is what it is, Dobby fans. It's, it's enjoy your day. You beat full of... It is what it is. Uh, right, uh, right, so I'm going to do another question. And this is from NSC Badge. Uh, where is it? Spokane, Washington oh, State. Hey, USA. USA, 4 p.m. kickoff in the morning. Shout out to the Americans. Hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. Hey, Blake. Here's one rivers. Big up to the door on the panel and lucky result today. Still hoping you go up. Keep smashing the content. Thank you very much for Rover's Vlog. Make sure you do subscribe to One Rover's Vlog. He's the Bristol Rover's uh, YouTuber as well. So maybe people subscribe to him. He's a good, he does his content as good as well. Uh, this is one from Alex and uh, uh, We're back to bat for. Worked perfectly when Cook and McKenna got first injured. It did. It did. Uh, and that was my point to Lee. Like I said, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, 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 I don't disagree, Lee. I'm saying it's what I, I, what I just, what I'm saying. It worked when McKenna got injured. It worked when it was Worrell and Figs. That time, I think it was what I don't know what game it was before the Blackpool game. It was um, for international duty. We, yeah, it worked with them too. So why not? But we don't know. Panzer could come in, replace uh, McKenna. Lue could come in. But personally, I, I wouldn't change it all. I, I actually think, it, does Steve Bruce play 4 4 2? Yes, he does. So I think he might go 4 4 2 and back in, back in, or 4 4 4 mm. 1 1, something like that. Mm. It, it, I'm just saying, it might work in the favour. I, I think as well, depends uh, with Davis as well, because I, I mean, how long's he at? Is he done for the season? Um, it's not... it, seems like, it seems like he's out for the season. Oh, that's gutting, that is. What, what was up with him? Um, he's done his hamstring, he? hamstring, so he possibly out that out the rest of the season. But it's not confirmed yet. But it didn't look it didn't look good at all. Today. It looked no. bad, it looked really bad. So we got. But this is the thing: we got storage. I'm not saying storage is, is, is David, but David's, since, he's from, since he's come off from Aston Villa, um, Aston Villa, you don't want to lose a player like that, do you? Yeah, but what, we don't want to lose his work rate. But you know Forrest, you know what Forrest are like? They like to like play guessing games with his lot because like, yeah. they remember with McKenna, they said McKenna was out for a long time and he coming straight away. So with his injury, I don't believe him. So Warren was the is. best one. Warren was out for six weeks. He was only out for six exactly. weeks. So when it comes to injuries, I don't believe him at all. And a shout out to Steve Cook. He was in, his, he was, he was in the way end of us as well. So shout out to Steve Cook as well. Um, hopefully he'll be back soon. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, one from from Andrew. I agree with Lee. We need to change something. Bring in Lerea and maybe and maybe give us a more attacking threat. We're relied on on the right at the moment. We are, but uh, playing on the right, would you would you replace with Spence? No, you wouldn't. That's and that's what I'm, what I'm trying to say, to people. If, if you're gonna put Lerea in, swap him for Colbert. That's it. Yeah, but, but then maybe you can have Colbert in the middle. But but he, but he's saying rightly that's probably he, he's saying no. Oh, Right on the right at the moment, so I don't, I don't know. You can put him left wing, it is what it is. We don't know. There's four, there's four games together. There's going to be changes, but I won't make it a load of changes. That, that's that's what I'm saying. But like everyone's, you know, I have to say, uh, like I said, another one. Uh, about time we introduced the AR, given time to adapt to system because if we meet Ms. in the playoffs, we need to find Spencer replacement. And that, and that, yeah, as well, we do need to find Spencer replacement. And we got, we got back as well. Um, and he, he's been on the bench. He, he's been in the squad as well at Forest. So that's he's young, though. It's too much on him at this point. It's too important. It's too much pressure on someone like Finn back. Wouldn't be Finn fair back. on him. Which he's I think a good he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. I think I think, I think it was two games. I think it was against Stoke and Misbro Misbro away. And I felt I felt sorry for Finn back. Yeah, it was hard it was on real. him. Yeah, it was really hard on him. And like he's he's, he's eighteen years old and. Putting the pressure on a young boy as well. He's got a, he's, he's got a, a brilliant future ahead of him as well. So yeah, def we definitely um, we don't want to put pressure on him back. If Spence, if we get Mesbro in the playoffs or whatever, 
just um, we've got Larea, and that's and it's a decent replacement. People. Yeah, but for me, Dor, there's no point bringing Larea in at the playoffs, is there? With no experience, he needs a, a little bit of time. Yeah, 100%. on the pitch, you know what I'm saying. So why not? I just don't see any major changes are going to happen. Cooper's not oh. Stevie Cooper's not that way. He, he's, you know, he's just he's just a little bit. He's a little bit more clever, Stevie Cooper is, and and I just think, you know, he he knows his players. He, you know, the question everyone's going on, oh, uh, bring Lair in, bring Lair in. You know, at the end of the day, everyone says bring Lair in because he's good going forward. But at the end of the day, you're there to stop stop the opponents, and he, Colback yeah, might be just a better what option. What Colback is, Steve, is he's more natural on that side than what Colback is because he plays that he plays that side. As well as the right side, he plays both, but he plays there for Canada on the left. I just don't. Think, I just don't think. I mean, what one defeat in six? He was on the bench today, were they? Yeah, one defeat in six. What we're gonna gamble and start changing now? Nah, that's not, what, and that's my point, Steve. Why are we gonna gamble on everything? No. Nah, but if nah, teams nah, are gonna nah. keep targeting Colback, we're gonna have problems. But but they did that, and that that's no disrespect to Colback. It's not. It's not a hit at callback. It's not, you know, it's not his natural position. But I do agree. Won them the game today. They kept targeting him, and it, it's won them the game. I do agree, mate. That it's it's, it's a square peg in a round hole, and I think yeah, I think to me, people would say it is a square peg peg in a round hole. All right. Now this if is Lowe, the if Lowe was fit, if Lowe was fit tomorrow, Lowe comes in at left back. I think then Low comes in at left back. Yates would then most probably drop into the centre back position if he wanted to, and then Colback goes into the midfield, and it keeps the shape yeah. of the team. Yeah. What Cooper likes playing, I, th I think that is the important thing. Steve Cooper is not a guy, and I haven't seen it, and you guys haven't seen it, where he will just go, "Well, I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to pull that out, and I'm going to change it." All right. He, this is how he wants to play. It's it it works. It didn't work today because whatever it didn't work today. And I just don't. I think Steve Cooper has got twenty players, yeah, yeah. And I think they are the twenty players that he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna play from. And I think if if Panzo and So are not in that twenty players, he's not gonna risk them. He's certainly too clever to think. Well, I'm gonna. Change things. No, I, I get what you're saying. Down. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I under, I get it. But you know, it's what you've got to go for. You know. Mm. Well, I, think, I, think, I, I think we're going to go four at the back on Monday. Just maybe just to counteract our West Brom play. Yeah. All right. And 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 I think also as well, Lee. I'm not there on Monday because I'm on holiday. Um, but I think I think West Brom are going to be so deep. Yeah because you, you know how Bruce plays he plays so deep you know it, 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 his defenders will be at Bridgeford Fish and Chip Shop they'll be <laughs> defenders there they will be that deep you know so you know, so you know what I mean so we're going to have we're going to get a lot do of ball we, on Monday do we lose some attacking impetus though when we change to four no yeah, we will. do you not think so we'll lose some we'll, we'll, lose, we'll lose some but I'm saying, I think we're saying like if we if we if we do play that four at the back with Worrell and Figs, then we can bring some. I don't know. Ziggy Nelson. I'm not saying back. you're wrong. I'm not. I'm not saying you're wrong. No, I, just, no, no. I prefer oh, the three, personally. I prefer the three at the back. Oh, because, because I think because, because we're used to because we're winning with that formation. But it is what it is. Right. I'm just gonna go through these comments. Uh, just where we. Sorry. Uh, and it's Christopher for Alexander. Let's calm down, calm down here. We've only got one bad result after five wins. Let's go away Monday. No, we're not, Alexander, we're not saying, we're not, we're not, I'm not arguing. We're just saying what, what has happened. Like, we'll just say Davis is injured. Um, and the, the, the next games, are, like I said, they're all cup finals now. People, we're going to have blips. We're not going to win every yeah. single game. So that's what I'm mm -hmm. saying. We're not, like, it's, it's good to have a discussion and say what Forrest could do. Panzer could play, Larea. Got grabbing, Davis is injured now. It's good to have a debate. And this is why I've got the channel over here to have a debate. I'm confident we win on Monday, 2-0. I'm I'm saying my prediction now. Live Look, on the yeah, he's, he's, he's out early Monday. doors. He's, out, he's, he's, getting, he's getting a prediction in really yeah, already. Yeah. Because can I just, you know, can I just say one thing? You already know, bounce back after a defeat, and I think we will again. I no, think we'll no, be no. a different team on Monday. Not in terms of necessarily 
personnel, but how we actually approach the game, the the energy and everything else. I, I think mm. you'll see different. But the can fans I just, get behind them. So that's can I just throw something to all the viewers? Okay. Yep. Right. Davis isn't playing on Monday, all right? Nor is McKenna, because you don't recover after two days, okay? You know that. Who starts at top? Well, I'm... Right. Um, um, storage. Yeah, who right, starts? Uh, this is one from, from Eastwick as well. If Davis is out for the season, who starts? Growing or storage? Uh, and can they replace him? That's a good question. Storage people comment, who would you replace for mm. Davis? That's a good question. And, that, and that's a good topic as well, people. Like I said, we've got, like I said, five or six games left. And... Davis is injured. Who would you replace? Put in the comments below who would you replace as well. People hit my like button as well. There's 89 people in as well. Hit the like button. I'm on 26 likes. If you get me to 50 likes, please uh, hit, just hit the like button. It helps me out a lot. Um, I subscribe as well. I'm trying to get as to much as I can um, as well. But, yeah. And as well, after, this, after the review show, people, the vlog is out as well. So please get ready for the vlog. Um, and you can watch it afterwards as well. Um, we'll talk about, like I said, um, Substitutions and Lonnie come back. Lonnie come on. I'm gonna tell you, Lee. He played um, played left back as well. But it's, it, 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 I think he played right when he come on to be fair. He got some got into dangerous positions as well, as well as Ziganel as well. And I mentioned as well as Ziganel. You know, every time he comes on, he, he always makes fast a little bit better. Do you think he yes, he did look good today when he came on? He, he came on, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Talk to me. What like? Do you, would you would you start him against West Brom? I think we're not going to have much of a choice. Now with Davis being injured, uh, I think you'll probably see Ziganel back, or as you call him, Zink, I call him. <laughs> Zink, yeah. You, you'll see Zink back, I think, personally. Um, maybe Sor uh, Sorridge. Hmm. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking look, look at that. Um, on the bench, I think. Uh, so Frank Bell says yeah. uh, Sorridge for me. Uh, Sorridge brings grabbing on, on the last 30 minutes. I agree with that. Uh, storage over grabbing. Uh, Jimmy says digging out and storage will start if Davis is injured. Um, Zoe played well, made his look look the part. Uh, and storage, also, everyone's saying storage. Bloody hell, how like, oh, why not? Why not? Because like I said, he's coming for he's coming to Forest and he's, he's played well, so why not start him? I think he deserves his chance. He deserves think, to start, doesn't he? He doesn't start as well. But what game he scored. It's a Huddersfield the FA Cup. He scored as well, mm. and, it's, and yeah. why not people as well? So yeah, it is what it is. Um, why is more as well? Uh, and as well, people. What what, what I think it was just was it Huddersfield just won in the in the was it Huddersfield or well who won as well? Top six. So there's still there's still going to be games that are going to be losing lose as well. Top, every team's going to win. Teams going to lose. I still think we still can get second place. But it's only Luton who won today at the top I'm, six. I'm, I'm top six. Field. Field no, no, no. It was a draw. Two, two. Oh, it was two two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, it's on the toilet. So, yeah, the, them and Bournemouth gained gained the point. I know Dora always says storage. Storage, that's it. Storage. Storage. Don't worry, Luke. I've told him a million times. Sorry, Luke. I do apologize. Storage. Storage. I do apologize. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> We we're talking about Davis. And I said he got he got injured as well, and if he's injured, it's gonna be a massive as well. I think when Davis plays, it makes him it makes Johnson play better. But do you think Sturridge could be the man to help Johnson play even more better if Davis is out, uh, Stephen? Steve? Yeah, I like I like him. I like I I like the guy. I think he should have a should have a should have a chance running it. I think. Um, he comes on, he works hard, he's busy. He's the same type of player. He's got a good touch. He'll, he'll bring Johnson into play, um, you know. And, yeah, I like him. I just think, you know, I, I like Cooper's attitude. When a player's injured, he, he will go, well, it's another door open for someone else. He won't he won't mess around, will he? He won't go, oh, yeah, we've got another injury, you know, and this, that and the other. Um, but, yeah, I'd play him. I, 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 I just think... Yeah, you're gonna play. You're gonna find out on on Monday which way it's gonna go because I think you're gonna see which way our Cooper our Cooper feels about him. I think because I think if he plays, I think Graben's mm, only gonna be a bit part player next year. 
because he's you know like I say where you are you're not going to start you're going to play your best players that you got available that's my opinion okay yeah. I'm not saying it's going to be right but that's my opinion but, but that's the opinion if you if you agree disagree Steve put in the comments below if you agree disagree with him um right whether well, there's wrap up six minutes but there's eight six people in thank you much everyone for taking the time to watch my mug race um it's been, it's been a long day, people. Like I said, the vlog is out afterwards, people. So if you do want to watch the vlog, it is straight afterwards. And I did, and it's it's <laughs> my facial expressions when I met Steve Cooper's brother and son. It was my it was the worst, it was a crazy expression what I've done. But people go and watch the vlog, it's gonna be mad afterwards. Um, right, next up, people's man of match. Who was it? Put the links below. I'll get the panels whose man of match was. Um let me start with you, Lee. Who, 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 who I want to see him, Matt, who, <laughs> who played that struck out for you today? Um, good question. Um, well, for me, Davis, to be honest. Uh, I think he never stopped going, even though we weren't doing great. He tried to make things happen, didn't he? He had a couple of runs, turned him inside out a little bit. and Him, him and Spence, for me, were the sort of the most positive Going forward mm. for Forrest today, I thought. And, and Zink, when he came on, I'll give him his due. He, he actually looked he, he looked like, you know, trying to affect the game and be positive. We just, thing was, Luton did a hell of a lot of time wasting. We, one minute, yeah, we, have four, no, minute, we have 14 minutes. Next thing you know, it's on 90th minute because Snodgrass decides he doesn't know it's his time to go off. And yeah, oh, he got, he, he got my nerves today. And, he got my nerves today, Snodgrass. He, it just wasted so much time that we didn't actually get it all back. There's no way we got that eight minutes wasn't wasn't half for what we lost in them time. Right where we played two minutes of football. We played two minutes of football. It just, yeah, it just kept breaking the game up, so we couldn't do anything. Even when they had ten men, we, yeah. we couldn't do anything. Yeah, we're dirty football. But like I said, when Snodgrass was playing, in, that's why he was, trying, he was trying to wind up um, the, the players up. So I think even that even that defender who got sent off was trying to wind up Davis. But I thought I thought Davis was gonna get sent off today. No. Uh, before he before he got it injured. In control. But, it was just I, worth taking it. That's all it was. Thing yeah. is, I hope we get Luton in the playoffs and then we can break Snodgrass. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? No, I want, I want, yeah, it'd be it'd be <laughs> nice. It'd be nice. Uh Steve <laughs> yeah. uh, Steve, who who was you impressed with today? Oh, I was impressed with the officials. I think they should be promoted. <laughs> Premier League, so oh, no, match the <laughs> um, oh, it was a difficult one. I don't think anyone stood out today. Uh, I've got to be what honest one? with you. I liked. Well, I just thought, you know, again, Spence is always going to be. He looked as if he offered more. Davis, I will agree. Davis was the only one that, to me, was giving Lou and back what they were giving us, yeah. and I think. If we had a couple more of them in the in the midfield, a little bit of hustle and bustle, it might have been different. But I I, I think I'd just shade it. I'd give it. I'd give it to Spence. I'd give it to Spence. I think. I think he just you know offers <coughs> so a little bit different, really. But uh, I, I I I think I, I'll give you to you. I think Spence right, like, and all Ziggy come on as well. And he he came on. He just somewhere. But for me, Spence was again was um, was. My man, match and it was good to see his family was there as well to watch him as well. And I don't know if you saw at the end, and I think Spence was so disappointed. I don't know if you've not seen it. Um, at the end of the game, he was so he wanted, I think he wants to cry because he, I think his mum was there, his dad was there, and um, that that goal he scored that was onside, um, would have just, um, made it That'd have been perfect for him, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would have been, like been robbed of it in front of his family. That's yeah, right. I, don't, I, saw, it, it, I, I ran down and, and his, his, mom, his mom gave him a massive hug um, at the end. And um, it, that, I think that just broke him a little bit. Um, it would have been nice to score a goal, but it's it all it is. It's a genuine lad who does care. Yeah, and like I said, uh, like Steve Stairs, the, these officials were fantastic today. They were, they, were, they were fantastic. And they should get a pay rise because I'm not getting fined, but I'm not getting fined by the, by the FA. So yeah, FA, if you're watching this, I don't. You, they're they officials. Yeah. Me. <laughs> they, 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 were fan, they were fantastic <laughs> officials. So yeah, um, great. Promote them to the Premier League. Replace Mike Dean. Do you know what? They're not being paid enough. These officials are they? No. Exactly. No. So it is what it is. Like I said, these officials are fantastic. They were my match as well. Right, we'll get going. Um, Steve and Lee, it's been a fantastic. 
thank you very much for um, coming on my show. Um, people, like I said, after the, the, the vlog is on afterwards. So uh, it meant to be up for 11 o'clock, but I'll get it for half past 10. So you lot can watch it as well. But, um, but Lee, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much for coming on. Uh, let's just see you again. Thank you for coming on. And hopefully that before I can come back to winning ways. Yes, we see you, Pete Bray. Make, make, make sure everyone, if you have people away, it's a, it, like I said, it's the it's the we're on a relegation party. No, that's Monday. Monday we'll no, have a party. No, 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 Lily, away celebrating in Peterborough, having fun. I'm you celebrating know. Monday. And Aaron is going to start the chant off. What's that, Steve? Erin is going to start the chant off for that relegation party. She's going to. Oh, dear. Just before we go, come on, Steve. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Bless you, darling. Enjoy tonight. League you, you one. Enjoy tonight, darling, but you are going down. We don't, like I said, and, and it's a good riddance. I hope you stay in League Two for like two or three seasons. Because oh, no, 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 no. I want, I want to go down to non league. Non league. I want Derby I want to be a rivalry to be with Ilkiston Town. <laughs> It is what it is, people. But like I said, it's been a great show. People as well, if you, if you did enjoy this, this review, please do hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And um, I'll see you, I think I'm next Sunday. I keep forgetting we've got West Brom on Monday. I keep forgetting. I'm do, I've got a review show with, uh, with West Brom fam on Sunday night, half past nine. Um, it's been a pleasure. Like I said, Stephen, Lee, thank you very much for coming on the show. And like I said, people, make sure you do watch the vlog straight afterwards. It's going to be fun. And watch out for Steve Cooper and my reaction. It is priceless. It, it, my face expression is mad. But um, but yeah, everyone, peace and love, everyone. And I'll Happy see Easter, you. Happy Easter, guys. Enjoy Happy your Easter. Easter as well. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Easter. Peace and love, people. Up the Reds. Up the Reds. See you later.